Okay, so we're back again with the custom story mode. This time, it is the Belgian GP. Not much has happened, but let's check it out. Let's head into the first cutscene. Often when you've got a lot of standing water, a little bit of higher pressure opens the grooves. Uh, did that go round? Did the well, McLaren go round? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. That's Lando Norris. A rouge and up to a Radion. Lando Norris has had a big off. And you can see the tire stranded. You can see the chassis revolving and turning around. Lando is moving. Lando, are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. Sorry, boys. So Lando Norris has just had a massive crash, which has brought out the red flag. And now we are in intermediate conditions. There's our objective. Stick the car on provisional pole position. And for only the second time, in custom story mode history we're going into qualifying for the story mode well at least half of it you guys will uh, will see what i mean later with the second part as we head down a rouge and up radion where lando norris crashing it feels very sketchy we've got to be very careful especially near the top of our rouge there's a little bit of a bump that you got to watch out for through the left and the right and over those tall curves there they're all almost like a mountain there into the braking zone of the really off camber corner and it's very tough not to walk up there especially in the wet little snap of oversteer but we are right through no name as we head into puan uh one of my uh, personal favorite corners on the track besides the rouge and radion of course we really mount that corner and i'm really surprised that we didn't spin off and into the barriers there as we uh touch that outside curb on the exit into the next braking zone we really want to try to maximize our exit speed rather than our entry speed or else we will get a lot of understeer uh, because of this rainy conditions you can really start to slide off the road if you're not careful and if you go for more of a steamy entry rather than a quick exit you can get some of that but on the exit down the straight with this mercedes engine it's really doing us wonders now as we almost touch the grass there and again but that curb on the inside there can really uh, unsettle your car. Luckily, we didn't come anywhere near it. Into the braking zone for the bus stop chicane. Mount the curbs as we head into the final corner. And on the exit, we come to the line. Have we done the objective? Have we completed it? Yes, we have. Let's jump into the next cut scene. Try and straight line it, get to the line, and we'll see what happens after that. Across the line goes George Russell. It's provisional pole for the Williams and George Russell. But Verstappen's still got to make it through the final two apexes. He's done that nicely. Charge to the line for Max Verstappen. It's going to come up quickly. Is it going to come up quickly enough for pole? Yes, it is. Verstappen denies George Russell in his rebel on pole. You can hear the Dutch fans cheer. So Max Verstappen sticks it on pole position, George Russell alongside in P2, and now we head into the race, and we drive as Bern Mylander, and it was a 100% safety car race, so of course we're going to drive in the safety car, and it's the first time that we've ever driven as the safety car uh, ever in any of my story modes or anything, so here we go. Our objective is to uh, drive three laps as the safety car the green light is on and uh, after this one they will be racing laps so the race is undoubtedly underway as martin brundle said in the race and you can just see how much slower this car is compared to the f1 cars and we will certainly feel it into our rouge the objective shouldn't be too tough uh it should be pretty easy to be honest and up our rouge we go and we fly off the road because we are so used to the Formula One cars and we are into the barriers. And uh, as we exit the pit lane for uh, what is 100% our first try and our first go, I mean, uh, nobody said it would be easy. So the objective shouldn't be too tough. Uh, it should be pretty easy, to be honest. As we head down the Kemmel Strait, and you can just see how rainy it is and how wet this track is. As you can see, there is so much spray and you can absolutely see nothing. As we head through the corners and there's that uh, curb that we were talking about earlier that looked like a mountain. As we nearly understeer straight off the track, as you can see, we go into the third person mode and you can see this is the safety car, the Mercedes safety car. 
as what a beautiful apex that was. <laughs> cool, cool on. Oh, the bus stop chicane, and we don't mount the curves as much as we did as George Russell in qualifying, but on the exit, we charge to the line. As we go up a rouge once again, and we get a little bit of oversteer as well, as we are hydroplaning or aquaplaning, as some people say, to the top end. This race really should be red flagged, and these are racing laps. These are not safety car laps, technically, as we mount the curb so much that we go into the grass even. Final corner, and we cross the line to complete our objective, and uh, we head into the final cutscene. When you've done more than two laps, then you get half points, a classification that can be given as we red flag the race with a race win if we can't get going again. With two laps, two full laps completed, race control has now decided it is time to go back to the pit lane again. Ladies and gentlemen, the race will not resume. The decision has been made. Max Verstappen wins the Belgian Grand Prix.